The notion of purposeful leadership is really quite important because when we talk about leaders leading an organization, their values come into play and how those values are played out in the decisions and the choices they make for their organizations. It is important now for us to address it given the financial crisis, given the uh, um, organizational news that we see in terms of uh, Sports Direct and so on. What is it that's important is where those values are played out because these impact the lives of every single one of the, the, their workers in their business. So we know that organisations' climate is very clearly defined by the way that the leader articulates and walks the talk. Being able to walk the talk means that the leaders are also able to express some of those values which they hold dear. There is an assumption in the research that the leaders come with a clear notion of what is right and what is wrong, of course. The question in the research is whether or not they're able to exercise that rightness or wrongness in a confident, authentic way. I mean, there is a perennial argument about um, the binary between business savvy and ethical leadership. And I would say that is, um, it's neither one nor the other. It's a question of your time horizon. If you are looking for short-term benefit over long-term success, then yes, I would argue that um, being far more exploitative of the situation works in the short term. But in the longer term, if you want your workforce to come with you, to understand that you're here for far more than the bottom line, and to genuinely engage with your customers and communities that you are a brand that cares about more than just the number of, of things you sell, then the ethics comes into play. We have seen so many examples of where uh, society takes to task organisations with that short-term view. For organisations, certainly for HR, there is, a, a, there is an ask from the research to be able to understand where their leadership is on that journey of maturity in terms of articulating their own uh, um, moral compass. And HR has a very important role in trying to align the climate so that the moral compass is part and parcel of the leadership's role in an organisation. Well, for CIPD, this is putting rubber to the road. When we talk about championing better, working, uh, championing better work and working lives, what we mean is providing the evidence that that actually can be done practically so in this research, we, we look at how organisations have put uh, this into practice, both the um, learning as well as some of the bumps that they've encountered. It's not a whitewashed case study list. These case studies talk about real organisations with real dilemmas and leaders who have to gr uh, grapple with these issues. So I think CIPD sees its role very much uh, in the advocate role, but advocate with evidence.